This is the second narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 5, Cell Reproduction. Let's get started. The details of two types of cellular division, mitosis and meiosis, are discussed in this presentation. Those processes are responsible for asexual division and sexual division, respectively. The events of sexual cell division are more complex than asexual cell division and involve a process called crossing over in which maternal and paternal chromosomes rearrange fragments of DNA between each other. The processes of crossing over and independent assortment will be further discussed in the next portion of this module. Cell division is considered to be a reproduction event in single-celled organisms and cell division is important for growth and healing in multicellular organisms. Genetic information contained in chromosomes of DNA must be replicated exactly for the daughter cells to be successful. This means the same genetic material is contained in all daughter cells. For example, all daughter cells of a human zygote contain an identical DNA sequence, although genes are expressed differently so hundreds of cell types are derived by genetic clones. This chart depicts the cell cycle. Five different events divide these different stages. Chromosomes are normal functioning in an uncoiled, loosely compact DNA. The end of the G1, or first gap, phase is marked by the coiling and condensation of the chromosomes before replication. During the S or synthesis stage, the genetic material is replicated in a complex series of events that involve many different enzymes. The G2 or second gap phase is initiated by the S phase and involves rapid cellular growth and proofreading of genetic material. Next, either mitosis or meiosis Two different types of cell division will produce daughter cells. Mitosis results in two diploid daughter cells that contain two pairs of homologous chromosomes, abbreviated as 2N, diploid. Meiosis results in four haploid cells that contain a single set of each chromosome, abbreviated as N. After genetic material is separated, the cytoplasm is then divided among daughter cells in an event known as cytokinesis. The cell cycle is then complete. Interphase, meaning the time between cell division events, refers to the first gap phase. G1 phase, the genetic synthesis, S phase and the second gap phase, G2 phase. Most time, most time of the cell cycle is spent carrying out normal functional processes in interphase. The diagram and picture shown depict a typical cell in interphase. During interphase, the cell carries out the normal activities of the cell. The drawing on the left shows the three phases of interphase plus mitosis. The picture on the right is a cell in interphase. In the photo on the right, the dark purple portion is the chromosome in the nucleus. The lighter pink portion surrounding the nucleus is the cytoplasm. Chromosomes are extremely large DNA macromolecules that are coiled around proteins called histones. Chromosomes are located in the membrane-bound nucleus of eukaryotic cells and the nucleoid region of the cytoplasm in prokaryotes. Remember, DNA is a macromolecule responsible for maintaining genetic information. This genetic code is what carries the recipe for all the proteins produced by a cell. Variation in type of protein and how much protein is produced by a cell is responsible for variation in cell function. This figure illustrates the DNA macromolecule in a double helix shape bound on proteins known as histones. 
Diploid cells carry two pairs of each chromosome. The two chromosomes in a pair are known as homologous because they each are the same length and code for the same set of proteins, although the specific DNA sequence may vary. The term homolog refers to members of the chromosome pair. In sexually reproducing organisms, one homolog is inherited from each parent. The diagram shows homologous chromosomes. One homolog would be, be from the mother and one would be from the father. Diploid cells are characterized by possessing two copies of each chromosome homolog. Humans contain 23 chromosome pairs. Du thus, diploid human cells have 46 chromosomes total. One pair of chromosomes is unique because they are of different lengths and are responsible for sex determination. The X chromosome is known as the female chromosome because two copies of it will cause a human to be female, while one X chromosome and one Y chromosome will produce a male. All other chromosome pairs are of identical length and refer to, referred to as autosomal. Haploid cells are those containing a single set of chromosomes. The sperm and eggs are the only haploid cells in the human body. Haploid cells are produced by diploid cells in a process referred to as meiosis. Recreation of the DNA chromosomes can occur in one of two ways, mitosis or meiosis. Mitosis is different from meiosis in that all chromosomes in a parent cell are replicated and chromosomes are shared among two diploid daughter cells. Mitosis is the process the human body grows and repairs itself. The cells of the body are called somatic cells. Meiosis involves the replication of all chromosomes in a parent cell, and chromosomes are shared among four cells, so all daughter cells are haploid, containing only one of two homologous chromosomes found in the parent cell. Gametes, including egg and sperm, found in humans, are formed by meiosis to produce haploid cells. Mitosis is the process by which single cellular organisms reproduce and multicellular organisms grow and repair body tissues. Mitosis involves four distinct steps, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. These four steps of mitosis are concerned with separation of replicated DNA. After telophase is complete and chromosomes are separated, the cytoplasm along with the organelles contain in it is divided between the two daughter cells that pinch away from each other. The result of mitosis and cytokinesis is two genetically identical daughter cells. The chart on the left shows the diagram of the cell cycle. We focus on the mitotic phase where chromosomes are separated. Prophase occurs as the nucleus disappears around condensed chromosomes and the mitotic spindles that pull chromosomes apart begin to form. Metaphase occurs as the chromosomes line up following a median plane of the cell. The chromosomes that have been replicated are attached in the middle at a site known as the centromere. Anaphase begins as the chromosome pairs separate from their centromeres and the chromosomes are pulled apart by spindle fibers created at the centrioles. Cytokinesis begins during anaphase. Telophase is the recreation of the nuclear membrane around genetic material. Chromosomes will again unwind into the active chromatin form. Cytokinesis is a separate process that occurs simultaneously with the end of mitosis. This process begins in anaphase as spindle fibers separate chromosomes. Other organelles and cytoplasmic materials accompany them. Eventually, two daughter cells pinch off from one another. Meiosis is a similar process to mitosis as the genetic material is replicated. However, meiosis involves extra steps that result in two sets of chromosomes divided among four haploid cells. The genetic material is identical to that found in parent cells, 
but its secretions of chromosomes may be traded between homologs during crossing over. Meiosis is divided into meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Prophase 1 involves an event known as crossing over that involves two homologous chromosomes pairing together and forming a tetrad. Sections of chromosomes may be swapped between homologs. Crossing over is the process that defines sexual reproduction. Metaphase 1 is similar to metaphase in mitosis. However, instead of chromosomes separating at their telomeres, entire chromosome pairs known as chromatids are divided equally between the two daughter cells. 46 total chromosomes are divided into two diploid daughter cells that contain half the genetic information and 23 pairs of chromosomes. Prophase II begins without the duplication of the chromosomes. In humans, 23 pairs of unpaired chromosome pairs are divided again into two cells, resulting in the total of four daughter cells. Each daughter cell contains only one copy of 23 unique chromosomes. The figure shows the phases of meiosis II. The phases of meiosis II are the same as those for mitosis. However, at the end of meiosis II, there are four new cells that are haploid instead of two new cells that are diploid. This is a review of important features of cell division in multicellular organisms. Cell division is a part of the cell cycle when chromosomes are separated and two daughter cells are produced. Mitosis results in two diploid daughter cells. Meiosis results in four haploid daughter cells. This is a review of the highlights of the cell cycle including cell division. Mitosis involves the four steps, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Meiosis involves two of each of those steps. Crossing over occurs during prophase one and 46 chromosomes are divided into two diploid daughter cells. During meiosis two, daughter cells from meiosis one are divided without chromosome replication, so a total four haploid daughter cells with 23 chromosomes emerge.